Acts chapter 1. <clears throat> the former trustee have I made, O Theophis, of all that Jesus began, both to do and teach, till the day in which he was taken up. After that he, th he through the Holy Ghost, had given commandments unto the apostles, whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive, after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. <clears throat> And, being assembled together with him, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. <coughs> for John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, wilt thou <coughs> at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his power, but ye <clears throat> shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. <clears throat> and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by him in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in like manner, as you have seen him go into heaven. <clears throat> Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the Mount of Olivet, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey. And when they were come in, they, came, <clears throat> they went into the upper room, and there abode Peter, and John, <clears throat> and James, and John, and Andrew, Philip, and Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon Zelotus, and Judas, the brother of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication, with the women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. And in those days Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, The number of names together were about a hundred and twenty. Men and brethren, this scripture must, ha <clears throat> must needs have been have Men and brethren, this scripture must needs have been fulfilled, which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas, which was guide to, to them that took Jesus. <clears throat> For he was numbered with us and obtained part of this ministry. Now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity, and falling headlong, he burst asunder in the midst, and all his bowels gushed out. And it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem, insomuch as the field is called in its proper tongue, uh, al kadama that is to say, the field of blood. For it is written in the books of Psalms, <coughs> Let his habitation be dust. <coughs> Let his habitation be desolate, and let no man dwell therein, and his bishopric uh, let another take. Therefore, of these men, which have, which have accompanied with us all the time, the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John, <coughs> unto that same day that he was taken up from us. Must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection? And they appointed two, Joseph called uh, Basarabas, uh, Barsabbas, who was surnamed Justice and Matthias. And they prayed and said, Thou Lord, thou, thou knowest the hearts of all men. Show whether of these two thou hast chosen, that he may take part of this ministry and apostleship, from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And they gave forth lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. <laughs> Matthias. Matthias. <clears throat> Acts chapter 2. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. <coughs> and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. And they were dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. And when this was noised about, the multitude came together and were confounded, because that every man heard them speak in his own language. <clears throat> and they were amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And, now, and how hear how every man in our own tongue wherein we were born, Parthians and Medes, Elamites, and the dwellers in Mesopotamia, and in Judea, and Cappadocia, and Pontus, and Asia, Philgaia, and uh, Pamphylia in Egypt, 
and in the parts of Livia about Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them in our tongues, the wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? What meaneth this? Others mocked, saying, These men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. <clears throat> For these are not drunken, as ye suppose, but seeing it is the third hour of the day, and this is that which is spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And of my servants and my handmaidens, I will pour out those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I shall show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth, beneath blood and fire and vapor and smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass, that whomsoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be, sh shall be saved. He men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God, among you by miracles and wonders and signs. <clears throat> which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye also know. Him, being delivered of the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. <clears throat> Whom God hath raised up, being loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. But David speaketh concerning him. I foresaw the Lord, the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand, that I should be not moved. <clears throat> I should not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Moreover, also my flesh shall rest in hope, because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. <clears throat> Thou hast made known to me the ways of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy with thy countenance. Men and brethren, let me speak freely unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and a sepulchre is with us unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him that the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. He, seeing this before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, and his soul has not, was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. This Jesus hath God raised up, wherewith we are all witnesses. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, <coughs> He has shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he that hath himself. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thy foes thy footstool. Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus whom ye crucified, both, both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were pricked at their heart, and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promises unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untold generation. And they, were, <clears throat> and they that gladly received his words were baptized, and the same day they were added unto them about three thousand souls. And they counted steadfastly in the apostles, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, and fellowship, and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were, were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together, and, all, and had all things common and sold their possessions and good and parted them to all men as every man had need and they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart praising god and having favor with all the people and the lord added to the church daily such as should be saved <laughs> <clears throat> Acts chapter 3. <clears throat> now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. <clears throat> And a certain man lame from his mother's room was carried, whom they did daily at the gate, 
who did daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, gi uh, as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Naz Nazareth, raise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping, stood up and walked, and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God, and they knew that it was which he that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. And as the lame man which was healed and held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them into the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. <coughs> When Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we have made this man walk? <coughs> The God of Abraham, and of Isaac, and of Jacob, and the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up, and denied him in the presence of Pilate, that he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One and the just, and desired a murderer to be granted unto you, and killed the Prince of Life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. And this name, through faith in his name, hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know, yea, the faith which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I want that through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. For those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all the prophets that Christ should suffer, suffer. he hath so suffered, <coughs> he hath so fulfilled. <clears throat> Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the, arm, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of the restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the day began. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear the prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. <clears throat> Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant with God, made with your fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Unto you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from your iniquities. Acts chapter 4. <clears throat> and as they spake unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees came upon them, <clears throat> being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold unto the next day, for it was now eventide. Howbeit many of them which heard the word believed, and a number of the men was about five thousand. And it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes, and Annas the high priest, and Sophias, and John, and Alexander, and many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have ye done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people, the elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole, by what means he is made whole, <clears throat> be it known unto all of you, that and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at not for you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they had un that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them, for they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man <clears throat> that was healed sitting with them, he could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do with these men? For that indeed a noble miracle hath been done by them is manifest to all that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. <clears throat> and that it spread no further among the people. Let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. <clears throat> And they called and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be good 
Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye, for ye cannot speak the things which we have seen, for ye, for we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. <clears throat> so when they further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for that which was done. For the men <clears throat> for the man was above forty years old, of whom this miracle of healing was showed. Him being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And when they had heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all them that and all that is in them, who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, <coughs> Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? Kings of the earth stood up, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. For as a, for of a truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed both Herod and Pontius Pilate with the Gentiles, the people of Israel were gathered together. For to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness that they may speak thy word, by stretching forth thine hand to heal, and thy signs, and that signs and wonders might be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. <coughs> and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of God with boldness. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed of his own. And they had all things common. And, the great power gave, and with great power gave the apostles witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked, for as many as were possessors of land or houses sold them, <clears throat> and brought the, the prices of the things that were sold, and laid them down at the apostles' feet, and distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. And Joseph, who by the apostle was surnamed uh, Barnabas, that is being interpreted the son of consultation, a Levite of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it, and brought the money, and laid it at the apostles' feet. <clears throat> Acts chapter 5. But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession and kept back part of the price, his wife also being privy to it, and bought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. And Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? While it remains, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? There thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. And great fear came on them that heard these things. And the young men arose, wound him up, and carried him out and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after that his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. And Peter answered to her, Tell me whether ye sold the land for so much. And she said, Yea, for so much. Then Peter said unto her, How is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them that have buried thy husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out. Then she fe fell down straight away at his feet, and yielded up the ghost. And the young men came in and found her dead. And carrying her forth, buried her by her husband. And great fear came upon all the church, and upon as many heard these things. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought, am wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in, in Solomon's porch. And in the rest durst no man join to, and of the rest durst no man join himself to them. But the people magnified them. And believers were the more added to the Lord, multitudes both of men and women. <laughs> Insomuch that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches, that at the least the shadow of Peter might by passing overshadow some of them. There, there also came a multitude out of the cities round, round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks of them that were vexed with unclean spirits. There were healed every one. Then the high priest rose up, and all they that were with him, which is the, which is the sect of the Sadducees, and were filled with indignation, and laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go and stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. And when they heard that, they entered into the temple early in the morning and taught. <clears throat> But the high priest came, and they that were with him, and called the council together, and all the senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the officers came and found that they were not in prison, they returned and told, saying, The prison truly found we shut with all safety. <coughs> And the keeper standing without before the doors. And when we had opened, we found a man that w within. And when the high, pri high priest and the captain of the temple <coughs> and the chief priest heard these things, they doubted of them whereunto this would grow. 
Then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom ye put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then went the captain and the officers and brought them without violence, for they feared the people, lest they should be stoned. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did not we straightly command you that you should not teach this name? And behold, ye filled Jerusalem with your doctrine, and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for <clears throat> to give repentance to Israel, forgiveness of sins, that we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. When they heard that, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. Then stood there up one in the council of Pharisees named Gamaliel, uh, a doctor of the law, had in reputation all had in reputation among all the people, and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space, and said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. For a part of these days rose up Thaddeus, boasting himself to be a somebody, to whom a number of men, about four hundred, joined themselves, who was slain, and all, as many as obeyed him, were scattered and brought to naught. After this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing, <clears throat> and drew away many people after him. He also perished, and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone for if this counsel for if this counsel or this be the work of men it will come to naught but if it be of god you cannot overthrow at least happily you be found even to fight against god and to him they agreed and when they had called the apostles and beaten them they commanded them that they should not speak in the name of jesus and let them go and they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name and daily in the temple and in every house they ceased not to teach and preach jesus christ <clears throat> oh, Acts chapter 6. <clears throat> And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplied, <coughs> and there, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews, because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration, then the twelve called the multitude of disciples unto them, and said, It is not a reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Whereon, brethren, look ye uh, out among yourselves, you seven of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. <clears throat> that we might give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the world. And the saying pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Ghost, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Farminus, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch, whom they set before the apostles, and when they prayed, they laid their hands on them. And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. There, all, there were all also certain of the synagogue, which were called the synagogue of the Libertines and, Cyrenia, and Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and them of Sicilia uh, and of Asia, disputing with Stephen. <coughs> And they were not able to, and they were not able to resist the, the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. <coughs> <coughs> Then they stubborn men, which said, We have heard them speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. They stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes, and came upon him and caught him and brought him to the council, and said, and set up false witnesses, and said, This man ceased us not to speak blasphemous words against the holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that Jesus of Nazareth shall destroy this place and shall change the customs which Moses delivered us. And all that sat in the council, looking steadfastly on him, saw his face as it had been the face of an angel. Acts chapter 7. <clears throat> then said the high priest, Are these things so? And he said, Men and brethren, men and fathers, hearken. The cloud of glory appeared unto our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia, before he dwelt in Sharon, and said unto, them, and said unto him, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred, and come into a land which I shall show thee. Then came he out of the land of the Chaldeans, and dwelt in Sharon, and from thence, when his father was dead, he removed him from this land, and wherein ye now dwell, and gave him none inheritance in it, no, not so much as to set his foot on. Yet he promised that he would give it to him for a possession, and to his seed after him, when he 
when as yet he had no child. And Scott spake on this wise, that his seed should sojourn in a strange land, that they should bring them into bondage, and entreat them evil four hundred years. And the nation of whom they shall be they shall be in bondage will I judge, said God. And after that shall they come forth and serve me in this place. And he gave them the covenant of the circumcision. <clears throat> and Abraham begat Isaac, and circumcised him the eighth day. And Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat the twelve patriarchs. And the patriarch moved with envy, sold Joseph unto Egypt, but God was with them, and delivered him out of all his afflictions, and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And he made him governor over Egypt and on all and all his house. And now there came a dearth over the land of Egypt and Shannon, and great affliction, and our fathers found no substance. And when Jacob heard that there was no corn in Egypt, he sent out our fathers first. And at the second time Joseph was made known to his brethren, and Joseph kindred was made known unto Pharaoh. Then sent Joseph and called his father Jacob to him, and all his kindred three score and fifteen souls. So Jacob went down into Egypt and died, he and, <clears throat> he and our fathers. And they were carried over into, Sa into Sashem and laid in the sepulcher that Abraham brought, bought for a sum of money of the sons of Amor, the father of Sashem. And when the day of the promise drew nigh, which God had sworn to Abraham, the people grew and multiplied in Egypt, till another king arose, which knew not Joseph. <clears throat> And the same dealt subtly with our kindred, and evil entreated our families, so that they cast out their young children to the end they might not live. At which time Moses was born and was exceedingly fair and nourished up in his father's house three months. And when he was cast out, Pharaoh's daughter took him took him up and nourished him for her own son. And Moses was learned uh, in all the wisdom of the Egyptians, and it was mighty in words and in deeds. And when he was full forty years old, it came into his heart to visit his brother and the children of Israel. And seeing one of them suffer wrong, he defended them and avenged him that was opposed and smote the Egyptian. For he supposed his brethren would have understood how that God by his hand would deliver him, but they understood not. And the next day he showed himself unto them as they strove, and he would have set them at one, ag one again, saying, Sirs, ye are brethren, why do ye wrong one to another? But he that did his neighbor wrong thrust him away, saying, Who made thee a ruler and a judge over us? Wilt thou kill me as thou didst the Egyptian yesterday? Then fled Moses at this saying, and was a stranger in the land of Median, where he begat two sons. And when forty years were expired, there appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai an angel of the Lord in the flame of fire in a bush. When Moses saw it, he wondered at the sight. And as he drew near to behold it, the voice of the Lord came unto him, saying, I am the God of thy fathers, the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Then Moses trembled and durst not behold. Then said the Lord to him, Put off thy shoes from thy feet, for the place where thou standest is holy ground. <clears throat> I have seen and I have I have seen and I have seen the affliction of my people, which is in Egypt, and I have heard their groaning, and I am come down to deliver them, and now come, I will send thee into Egypt. <clears throat> Then Moses, whom they refused, saying, Who made thee a ruler and a judge? The same did God send to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in the bush. <coughs> He brought them out. After that, he had showed them showed signs. After that, he showed signs. After that, he showed wonders and signs in the land of Egypt and in the Red Sea, and in the wilderness forty years. This is that Moses, which said unto the children of Israel, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto him, him shall ye hear. This is he that is it, that which that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel, which spake to him by the Mount Sinai with our fathers, who received the lively oracles to give unto us, to whom our fathers would not obey, but thrust them from them, and in their hearts turned back again into Egypt, saying unto Aaron, Make us gods to go before us, for as... For as for this Moses, which brought us out of the land of Egypt, we want not what has become of him. And they made a calf in those days, and offered sacrifice unto the idol, and rejoiced in the works of their own hands. Then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven. As is it written in the book of the prophets, <clears throat> O ye house of Israel, have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of forty years in the wilderness? Yea, yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your god Rephahim, figures which ye made to worship them. <coughs> <coughs> and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness, as he appointed, speaking unto Moses, that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen, which also our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus unto the possession of the Gentiles, whom God drave out before the face of our fathers unto the days of David, whom found favor before God, and desired to find a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. But Solomon built him a house. Howbeit the high dwelt not in temples made in hands, but as saith the prophet, Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hand made all these things? Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ear, 
years. Do ye always resist the Holy Ghost as your fathers did? So do ye. But as the prophets have not heard, have not your fathers persecuted and have slain them which showed before the coming of the just one, of whom you have now, of whom you have been now the betrayers and murderers, who have received by law the dispensation of angels and have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed on teeth, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God and said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at the young man's feet, whose name was Saul. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, and <clears throat> And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Till next time.